everything weird. Hi guys, so it's me again, Keith. So we are going to continue with what we have started. This is the part two of Coral Draw Crash Course, or yeah, Crash Course, because we are not going to go to the very details of how we're going to use Corel Draw, but instead we are going to proceed with what should be learned. Okay, so we are going to use the shape manipulation in Corel Draw. Before that, we need to open Corel Draw, so this was on our part one. So I'm just going to remove this one since we already know how we're going to open Corel Draw, so we don't need to go back in there. But instead, the next thing that we're going to do is to create a simple logo using Corel Draw. Okay, so but first we need to what do you call this? Mimic a particular logo. So it's like we are going to copy a certain copyright. No, not copyrighted, but we're just trying to copy a logo from, let's say, a superhero or something. It can be company name or whatever. So I'm just going to search for something that I'll show you guys later on. Right? So I'm just going to type in images.google.com. Oh, I don't have an internet connection right now. I think I need to connect. So while we're waiting for the internet connection, oh, can subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and all your requests that you want to have. Okay, so for example, I'm going to type in Batman logo. Yeah, I'm just going to use Batman logo as my reference. So let's say I'm going to use this one. This one is a good one. I'm just going to copy the image and right click paste. There you go. Now, why do we need to create another logo for Batman where in we already copied it and pasted it? It's because in Corel Draw, we are dealing with vector graphic, which means we are dealing with high quality lines, high quality fills. So it's like if ever you're going to zoom this one in, check this one out, guys, what's going to happen. See? There is some sort of pixelization that might occur, and we don't want that one on our high quality logo. So what we're going to do is to create something in a high resolution such as this one, but better quality, okay, with no pixelizations at all. So let's start by clicking on the rectangle tool. Click push, yeah? click and drag. There you go. So the size will somehow match with the width of this logo. So just like that, and drag it over here. Now the next thing, another tip by the way guys, if you want to change the color of your outline, instead of clicking, which from which I'm using my left click, I'm going to use my right click, okay? Right click, automatically the outline will change into something like red. Now the main purpose of this one, so that I will not be, uh, what do you call this, I will not be confused with the color of the original Batman logo as well as what I'm going to create later on, okay? So the next thing that I'm going to use is the shape tool. Now, if ever you will be having a hard time in dealing with the tutorial, you can always replay and replay, okay? Okay, so next is the shape tool is like a shape manipulation tool from which you can resize or you can change uh, the orientation or the appearance of each of the, uh, what do you call this, shapes that are present in your canvas. However, we are not going to do that, but instead we are going to use a more specific feature of this tool, the shape tool. By clicking an object, then we have the so-called convert to curves with a shortcut key of letter Q. So by the time you're going to enable this one, this is how it's going to look like. There. See? So it's like if ever I'm going to write a node, since as you can see in here, we have a couple of points right so we are going to create points on the square as well so i'm going to double click on this area and since this one doesn't have any point i'm going to double click in here and since there's a point in here but on the logo itself it's like some sort of curve so i'm going to double click on this one to remove the point now don't uh, panic if ever you're going to see something like this later on as we go on with the exercise we are going to manipulate that one. So I'm going to double click in here as well. Double click again. Double click to remove. 
then for this one i think oh no i'm going to double click in here first there and for this i'm going to drag it over here so this will serve as a representation of the point that we have here same thing with this one there you go now uh, for this point this one this one this one this one and this one we are still going to double click a lot so double click for this one double click again i'm going to double click again for this area there you go I'm going to place it here place it here i'm not going to be very detailed on the particulars of this one i'm just going to teach you how you're going to create something like this there you go now once it's done the next thing that you're going to do is um to click on this area let's say if you want this one to be converted into something something like a curve just single click okay as you can see when you single click on a particular line it changes into something like a circular dot so just click on that one there you go then click on this one convert to curve there you go then you can easily drag that one like that same thing with this click click then drag now if you think you need some sort of adjustment just single click in here not double click then you will be able to see some sort of adjustment nodes same thing with this one single click click drag there you go so i'm just going to make this one a little bit quicker There you go. So let's say you're done with it. The next thing is I'm going to create a fill for this. I'm just going to use red so that it's easier for me to identify. Then I don't need the other one anymore. So I'm just going to delete that. And here's our new Batman logo. If you want to create a blackish content for that or blackish color, it's like that. If you want to remove the outline, uh, we have the Xbox here. You're just going to right click to remove the outline okay now so as you have noticed if ever i'm going to use the zoom tool by the time i'm going to zoom this one in look at the resolution guys it's perfect and it's already 104,786 percent of zooming level so it's pretty much near so that's a high quality image right there okay or logo right there so if ever you want to save that one click on file export then save it as png file i'm going to name this one as path logo there you go so that's how you're going to create or copy a logo and transform that one in a high definition manner okay so subscribe for more bye Everything wears.